In number 25, they say x squared plus 10x plus 24. They want to know uh, all possible values of b. Essentially, what they're asking you to do is, how does this trinomial factor? I know the two factors of this are x plus uh, 6 and x plus 4. Okay? They could also be x plus 4 and x plus 6. So basically, over here, they're asking you, well, what are the values of, of b? Well, it looks like in, in this first equation, it looks like a was 6 and b is 4. So b could be 4. And then in the second equation, because of the commutative property, I could say um, looks like b could also be 6. Okay, so essentially they're asking you what are the zeros of this in a very funky way. In number 26, it says Ron had deposited 3000 in an account. Anytime you're talking about savings account, you should think about this formula. This is the exponential growth formula where A is the starting amount. We're going to do 1 plus our rate as a decimal. And then the exponent is time. So all they're asking you to do in this case is write an equation. Again, follow the directions. All I'm doing is writing an equation. I am not going to solve anything. So write an equation that can be used to find B, her account balance, after T years. This is basically your final amount. So we're going to call that B. A is our starting amount. That's 3,000. 1 plus, here's your rate. But I have to convert to decimal by moving it back two places. So it's 0 .042, 0 .042 after T years. This is your answer. There is nothing to solve. Again, they're asking you to write an equation. I wrote an equation. That's it. Number 27, we know Guy and Jim are working at a, funer uh, a furniture store. They're telling you Guy has paid this much money, and then they give you a representation of his salary already in, in, in form of, a, uh, of an equation. They do the same thing for Jim. They give you some information, but they already wrote it for you. Determine the value where they're the same. So we want to figure out where is f of x the same as g of x. We're going to set them equal. So therefore, we're going to set these two equations equal, and then we're going to solve for x. Okay, so I subtract 185, subtract 185, I get 90, subtract 0.025x, subtract 0.025x, I get 90 equals 0.005x, I divide both sides by 0 0.005, my answer is 18,000. Now, what does this mean? It says to determine the value of X in dollars where their pay will be the same. So after $18,000, their pay will be the same. Oops. Their pay will be the same. Number 28 says express the product of these two uh, polynomials. Product means multiplication. So what I have to do is I have to multiply this term by every single term of this trinomial. And then I have to multiply this term by every single term of this trinomial. Basically what you're doing is double distribution. 2x squared times x is 2x to the third. x times 7x is going to be plus 7x squared. And then here you're going to get minus 10x. Now I have to multiply 5 times everything. 5 times here I get plus 10x squared. Here I get plus 35x. And then here I'm going to get minus 50. Now I'm going to combine like terms. 7x squared plus here I get plus 17x squared. Minus 10x I get plus 25x minus 50. Number 29 asks you to determine which function has the larger maximum value. We're going to justify your answer. Okay, so in this case, it looks like the largest value of this f of x graph, uh, f of x's maximum value is 6. Okay, g of x's max value is... What I'm going to do is put this equation into my calculator, and my y equals, I'm going to graph... And then I'm going to go to table, and I'm going to look at what my maximum y value is. And if you notice at 4, my highest value is 11. So if this is 6, te technically the f of x is, is way up here at 11. 
So this maximum value is 11. Now it says justify your answer. Now it said determine which function has a larger maximum value. So that means you have to write a complete statement. G of X has a larger maximum value. Justify your answer. Because my calculator stated that its largest Y value is 11 in the table of values. This would get you full credit because you've stated your answer and you've explained it.